Today's episode of Desertwood Days with Kathy Blaze is sponsored by Dork Publishing, expanding minds through fantasy since 2018. Learn more at the Dork Publishing website, www.dorcpublishing.com. <laughs> your host Kathy Blake. Today I am so excited about our first guest. He is an amazing talent, nurse, and one of your favorite bad guys. Let's welcome Mr. William aka Bill Connor. Hello hey, there. Hey there. How you doing? Good, 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 good to, to see you. Good. good to see you. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Yes. <sighs> You know what? I have to throw in that bad guy because you know you you are one of our famous bad guys. <laughs> that, that I am. That I am. Uh, some people say, "Do you mind being typecast?" And uh, the answer is no. I love it. I love no, being a bad guy. No, 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 not if that work keeps coming in. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. So, Bill, you know, mm. m- most people in Arizona know you as. Um, Bill, the actor. Mm -hmm. Some of them may know you in your um, professional world as a nurse, but not many people know that Bill. That's true. They know the Bill that we're used to seeing and out in in the industry acting, and so they don't know that other side of you. So I'd like to just let them get a little bio on your history before acting. Um, Tell us about the young Bill. What, first off, where were you, where are you originally from? Uh, originally from Joliet, Illinois. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, moved out here in high school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I, as far as the nursing, how that came about was I was doing all these different jobs. Um, none of them were satisfying. I would uh, be a crane operator, master wow. that, get bored with that, go on to, uh, you know, building swimming pools or building cabinets whatever Mm -hmm. i kept bouncing from job to job and i had no satisfaction from it so So what what got you into the nursing industry which is also (laughs) in the book too Uh, i was dating a nurse at the time okay yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) and uh i said uh, i was talking to her about i you know i want to find a career i want to find some kind of work that i'm satisfied doing um on a constant base, basis, not uh-huh. something that's fun for a while and then I get bored with it. And she said, well, why don't you be a nurse? Hmm. And um, I was ignorant to the fact that there was a lot of male nurses. And right, I said, because back then there wasn't a lot of male nurses. Yeah, and and I said, um, male nurses, I said, Is it, you know, isn't that the work the ladies do? And she hmm. goes, no, there's a lot of male nurses. Oh. I said, oh, really? I said, I didn't know that. So I started researching that, looking into that, and I found out, yeah, there's a lot of male nurses that were starting to come into the field. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So I went and so talked to So how did your guy friends feel about Billy becoming <laughs> a nurse? <laughs> uh, I know they had their little two cents to put in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really didn't get too much no, uh, from them. No, oh, man. no. That's no I think I think uh, I think in general nursing is known as an honorable career. It they, is. You know, it's you'll, you'll never be without work. You know, you it's it's good pay. Um, right. You know, you're helping people. So, you know, if if they wanted to to uh, slander me on on that, then you know they'd be right. barking up the wrong tree because and, and it's that, good work. It's, and, you know. and that's good. I'm glad they didn't because you know there was a time where nurses were seen to be like a female work and mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. because it's just like housekeeping and mothering. That's usually the work of the ladies. And back then, look, I'm saying back then like it was that long ago, but mm-hmm. there was a time where they were seeing that that was work for women. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad they didn't, and 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 that was a something that would have stopped you from getting into a field that's so rewarding. Right, right. That's the thing; is a rewarding field. Right, you, exactly. You know? Yep, exactly. So, what was your special? What is your specialty? 
Mm. Actually, <clears throat> I did it all. Okay. Nearly all. Let me rephrase. Um, I basically was in the hospital environment for like 20 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I worked in every department except for uh, pediatrics, oh, okay. uh, labor and delivery, and psych. Other than that, I, I did it all. Okay. I kind of worked my way up through the ranks. I started off in a um, nursing home, went to skilled nursing, uh, medical, surgical, telemetry, Oh. Uh, ICU, ER, trauma. Oh, okay. I so kind of worked. Yeah, I, right. I, I was. I got off on that adrenaline rush. I, right. I wanted to, I wanted to push myself. I wanted to see how far I could go you in know, the career. And I, I think it is an adrenaline rush because I think I was mentioning to you that when I started off working, um, I was in the healthcare industry, right. and I remember there was a time where we were being we had the opportunity to rotate to different um, departments. Mm -hmm. And I was the only one that wanted to rotate into ER. Okay. And I just wanted to get a feel of what it was like to work in ER. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was that adrenaline rush. Yeah, yeah. And it's addictive. It is. Yeah. It is. I couldn't stay there but because um, I had to go back to my department, but I really enjoyed being there. Mm -hmm. and that's because I'm a people person. I love helping people. That's exactly. That's right. why I'm in you know, nursing. That's what I why I do what I right. do. Right. So. Okay. Wait, so, Bill, I've known you for quite a while. A You've always time. had the facial hair and <laughs> yeah. always been a big guy. <clears throat> so, how did the, did you have the facial hair back then when you first started off? Uh, did you in, wear the in, beard? In, in nursing? Uh huh. Yeah. Most of the time when I had the beard in nursing, it was trimmed and nice looking and everything. I didn't want to scare the patients. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what is this yeah, big guy yeah. coming to do to me? <laughs> exactly. It was, it was groomed. And uh, back then I was bigger and stuff and I, I did look more intimidating. So I wanted to look clean cut and you know. Okay. Yeah. So I, just, I didn't what, want to scare anybody. But so. you know what, even with that, patients can tell in the eyes and in your mannerism yeah. if you're there to, to help and care they, they for knew. them. They, they know, you yes. know, I, you know, whatever this exterior is. Yeah. In my heart, uh, I'm a I'm a compassionate yes. guy. I, I care very much for people, and yes. I let them know that. You know, I'd make right. my rounds, and I'd say, "Hey, I'm Bill, your nurse." Um, I pull up a chair next to him, mm. I talk to him for a little bit, let him know that I'm there for whatever they need, right. and that I actually care very much. And, right. You know, so that kind of stuff. So. Right. And you know what? And I think, you know what. That is why you were able to really cross over into the acting field, also being an actor, because you care. You care about your craft. You care mm -hmm. about other people. Mm -hmm. You care about the characters. Right. So, right. And that is why it was so easy for you to move over into that lane as well. And yeah, yeah. people see that in you, and they call you back for more roles. Right, right, right. Right. I mean, people may not think, but that is aligned with what you do in the acting industry it mm -hmm. is about caring and caring about that character right and right. what that character is going through it's very true that is That's very true um what what uh another thing that uh kind of pushed me into the acting was i wanted a balance mm. okay so with this trauma life i was mm -hmm. living um i wanted to balance out with you know more play Right. You know, serious play. Right. So I wanted to have some balance in my life. So right, and that, that kind of got total, me into acting. That yeah. makes total sense. And 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 I'm sure you know um, quite a few people. Uh, we've had several on our show mm -hmm. that were either police officers or they work in these fields that can be very stressful. Right. I think we even have uh, firemen here, right. and um, they work in these fields that can be very stressful. So having something like that to release. Is, is what you exactly. need, right? That's, that's exactly right. what I'm talking about. Right. That balance. You need that balance in your life. That. I mean, you, after you see so much blood and suffering and death, um, it does wear on you. Mm. Um, you know, and there's, I talk about that in the book as well. It's, yeah. So we're gonna. Some get people can burn that. out. Some people, you know, if you can burn out, you know, if you if of if course. you see so much death and and dying and suffering, uh, it can really wear on you. Has, has there been a point in your career as an actor that you've played that role as a nurse or I someone that played had... a doctor? Oh, okay. Yeah, I played a doctor a couple times. Um, actually, one of my very first films I did, uh, I played a doctor. Mm. Um, 
wasn't uh, a big part of the movie, but um, the other character had been diagnosed with something terminal, oh. and he came into my office, and oh, okay. I was explaining what his illness was and stuff right, like that. Right. So I very, I felt very comfortable with that role, right, you know, right. knowing the medical stuff that I right. knew. Then, <laughs> have you ever been on the scene and um, on the set, and uh, someone else was a doctor or nurse, and you're in a different role, and they're doing something, you're, you're sitting over there thinking, oh, "That's not right." Mm. You don't do it that oh, yeah. way. <laughs> no, I do that. I do that a lot. And I I also do that for um, big shows, uh-huh. you know, regular shows. I, I'll, I'll see things that are right, and I'll, and I'll say, you know, they obviously didn't have a medical consultant on that right, show. Right, right. Because right. there's, like, there's an IV bag that's green. Right. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, you know, and there's there's things that they're doing that are just, that just they're not, not real. Right. It's not real. Well, yeah. we're going to talk more about... I was a nurse when we get right back after this commercial break. All right. (laughs) So, Bill, we were talking about you being a nurse before we went to commercial break, Mm -hmm. which is amazing. I love that you're a nurse. You're out here taking care of our people in our community, our Mm -hmm. families, and God bless you. But um, I know that you're also an author. You wrote a book Mm -hmm. about your journey, your life being a nurse. I did, Um, yeah. I was a nurse. I'd like to hear um, a little bit about this. What was it that jarred you to want to create this? Okay. Um, a strong motivating factor was um, I don't think there's enough recognition for nurses and what they do. Okay. So when COVID came about, Remember they were putting those commercials on TV and showing nurses with their faces indented from wearing goggles mm. and they were just beat up mm-hmm. from the amount of work they were doing in right, the hospital. And right. I thought, and then everybody was like, they became more empathetic. Yeah. They became a little more understanding about what was going on and the life that nurses live right. and the things they go through. And I thought, fantastic, finally somebody's mm. starting to see what these people do, uh, what you know, the lives they live and the sacrifices they make to help others right. and then they stopped doing those commercials and I thought okay we're just we're just falling back into the same thing I said I want to keep this going I want I want the recognition to continue uh, uh, so I thought okay what better way to improve recognition uh, by writing let's right. let's let's tell them what we do what we go through let's educate mm. and then maybe they can uh, increase their recognition and understanding of what nurses do. Mm-hmm. So that's when I, just under two years ago, I put pen to paper. Right. I started writing all the memories I had. All mm-hmm. you know, over the thirty years of, of wow. nursing, I started. I got all kinds of stories in there, in great detail, so mm-hmm. that hopefully uh, people have an understanding of what we go through right. on a day to day basis. So that that was my motivation. I. I Right. I saw that there was the start of recognition, so I wanted to keep that going. I wanted to get the word out there. So is this solely from your your life, your memories, or did you have any input from any other nurses? No, no, this is this is my memoir. Okay. This is strictly, everything in this book happened to me specifically. Okay. Yeah, there was no other um, outside input. Is there a um, piece in there that you can read to us that you like to share with us? Well, yeah, there's there's a couple. Um, there was a couple um, things that I did that I found uh, very different as mm-hmm. far as nursing goes. And, you know, of course, there's stories about ER and, mm-hmm. and floor nursing, et cetera, and uh, caring for individuals. But I started to find out there was all kinds of different areas to work in, as far as being a nurse. One of the stories in there, I actually got a job at the prison Mm. Yeah, I know. I didn't even think about that. You forget about the nurses that work in the prison. Yeah, yeah. And that's, talk about a dangerous environment. Right. Um, But, yeah. um, I'm glad you brought that up because you hardly hear about that. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Those nurses that work in the prison. I never thought about it. Right. You know, when I was going to uh, college and stuff, I was, I never thought, okay, I'm going to work in a prison. Right. You don't think of that. But um, what, what made me go down that avenue was I wanted to, supplement my retirement mm. when that comes and anymore the only way to do that is really to work for the state uh-huh. or the federal government right. so i thought okay work at the prison run by the state mm. and um, so i you know i got mm. a job out there doing that i was out there for about a year and a half 
Wow. And it's just, it was just, the stories that happen out there are just, they're crazy. There's just, there's people beating each other up all the time. There's a lot of suicide attempts. Uh -huh. um, just, I don't know. It's just a totally what, different environment. What is um, leadership like for a nurse? What does that look like for a nurse? As far as being a leader? Uh -huh. Well, um, I touch on that as well in the book. Okay. After you've become uh, experienced to a certain level, it's kind of expected for you to step into at least uh, a lower level leadership position, um, primarily being like charge nurse. Oh, okay. You know, after you become very comfortable with the job mm -hmm. and um, your skill levels are at a higher level, they tend to ask you to be charge nurse. So that would be involved just, you know, handing out work assignments for the day, right. um, putting out fires in the unit you work in, um, dealing with so angry what, families so, or doctors. So what are you expecting from I was a nurse, your memoir? My primary objective is to get the word out. Okay. I want people to read it and understand what nurses do. And I want them to realize that this is, this is a, a calling this is a passion for people and I want them to understand what they go through so that there's more recognition for nurses so there's more appreciation for nurses that's the primary objective of it right as it says on the back caring empathetic and compassionate always felt that helping people was the most important task he could do turns out nursing was the most satisfying work of all the work he had done mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, it's a true statement because remember we discussed a while uh, back that I was doing all these jobs that were not satisfying. Right. Once I got into this, I oh, I found so much satisfaction. Wow. I had some fantastic stories of caring for people, and um, it was very satisfying. So. Yeah. So where do you want to see this book? Where do you want? Where does it go from this point? Well. Um, I just wanted to reach as many people as possible. Okay. Do you yeah. have a marketing plan for that? Yes. Um, I just started. The, the book just got published uh, September 1st. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So um, right now I'm working... This is a Virgo baby. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So um, right now I'm working... Uh, it's in Barnes & Noble. Okay. Uh, so you just got to go to barnesandnoble.com, type in the title, I was a nurse. Okay. Um, I'm also... Um, Talking with them as far as getting in in the store, oh, okay. and then from that point, I want to expand into eBooks um, and other platforms. Oh, okay. But I'm just starting. Okay, I like to ask what and what uh, one great advice would you give to um, aspiring nurses? Truthfully, yes. Read this, okay. because this will give you a fantastic idea of what it is to be a nurse. I would suggest reading it because then you'll know what nurses go through. Make sure that you have that compassion and that desire to help people because it's not all beautiful. Right. That's not all, true. It's not all pretty stuff. Right. So, I mean, right. if you think it's just, if you're thinking of getting into it just for the money mm. or, well, you know, some other reason, you need to rethink it. Right. But, uh, well, I know that you went for, you're a nurse, but you're also an actor also. And you brought us some media. I'd like to take, um, little moment to watch some of that see some of that and okay. you just tell before our time is up here okay. oh yes okay and what do we have here okay so that's the first um the first film i have coming out just sorry i'm checking my notes um that film is called bridge of the doomed okay um, that's coming out november 4th premiering november 4th okay um it, uh, as you can see by the photo it stars uh kate watson uh, michael Pare, robert lasardo and uh I had a really nice role in that myself. Um, it's about a zombie apocalypse. And um, um, basically what it is, the story is uh, this uh, military unit was sent out to protect this uh, bridge, which um, it's a major uh, uh, crossing point for the military. So they had to protect this bridge. And there was a camp of survivors set up near this bridge. Oh, okay. And I was the alpha male of that camp. Okay. I kind of ran that group, so okay. that was that was my character awesome. in that one. So. And the next one? Uh, Night of the Tommyknockers. Uh, that's coming out uh, November 25th. Oh, okay. 
and that one starred um, Richard Grieco and Tom Sizemore. Wow. Um, in that one, I played um, what it is is uh, some miners, some gold miners from 1870 okay. had blown open this uh, mining shaft and they, they located all this gold. Well, they took the gold out and there's these creatures that lived in these uh, yeah. shafts, these mine shafts. Okay. That that's their gold. Okay. So until they get their gold back, they're gonna okay. they're gonna kill people to get their gold and back. And so. we have one more. Ah. Bloodthirst. Ah, this is gonna be fantastic. Bloodthirst uh, should be coming out the first quarter of next year. Uh, it's being distributed by Lionsgate. Uh, they're behind in their um, independent film distribution because of COVID. Oh, okay. So that's why we're estimating the first quarter of next year. Oh, can but we... uh, stars Tara Reid, uh, Costas Mandalore from uh, your Saw series, and then Robert Lasardo. You're going to be busy. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. I got three premieres coming up pretty soon. Wonderful. So. Now tell, tell our audience where they can find you. Oh, um, I. Phew. Or you have a website where they I can do, find your book? I do not have a website oh, okay. at this time. Um, Actor Bill uh, uh, at yahoo.com. Okay, and um, on the Instagram, social media? Yeah, uh, Instagram, yes, yeah, I'm on oh. Instagram, so yeah, if you want to find me. Actor yeah. Bill Connor? Uh, yep, okay. exactly, Actor Bill, yeah. It was such a pleasure to have you here yeah. with us today. Well, thank you, thank I really appreciate it. Thank you, and we look for more from Bill Connor. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's going to be more to come. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> and thank you for joining us here on Desert Wood Days, and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.